Wake up. This is how it all begins. Can you wear your mino, shirt, and more? Now, 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 now. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> this is the first morning of the Academy. Academy, brought to you by Nescafe. Stick Nescafe Classic, a genuine pleasure to share with your friends. Nescafe Classic. Enjoy it whenever, wherever, and however you want it. Nescafe. Taste the coffee side of life. On the last episode, our cameras traveled all over Nigeria to tell 20 people that they had beaten the odds and made it into the Academy. <laughs> Leaving behind friends and family, they came together from across the country to board a bus and chase a dream. As night fell, no one knew where they were going. They didn't even know each other. But they did have something in common, a desire to become actors and actresses on television. So they agreed to be taken to an unknown place for 30 straight days of intense instruction. Last night, they arrived at the Academy residence, not knowing what would await them the next morning. The students know nothing of what is to happen today, or any other day. It all comes without warning. So the first of today's Can surprises, we put up our right hands an oath. And take the following rules and regulations as I read them. When I say I, you mention your name after I. I must be punctual to all activities. Taking the oath is a symbol of the commitment these students are making. Because throughout this experience, discipline will play a key role. For some, it will not be easy. From where I'm coming from, from the world outside there, I come into the academy and then, you know, sit there, stand up, come out, go in. I'm not used to following instructions. I do what I want to do, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. That's the way I have been before. Would direct all my queries to the host or administrative director. And sometimes I wonder and I ask myself, uh, did I really have enough time to think about this before I got into the academy? Maybe not. I would abide strictly to all academy rules. I have to be a better person. I know at the end of the day I'm going to be like, you know, at least if for nothing, I'll get that. As in being a better person, being a better actress. Thank you. Thank you. They've made it to the first morning. They've had a good night's rest, a hot breakfast, and they've even been sworn in. So, who is this lady? And what is she asking them to do? 
we're in a, a, an action movie, an Asian action movie. You say your name, you do a movement, and you give me a sound with it, okay? <laughs> so let me just give you an example. Tosa. Whoa! <laughs> Chukuri. Ha! Aha. Memuna. Harriet. Ha! Abiodun. Yeah! <laughs> Juliet. Yeah! <laughs> Bingo. Uh. Amaka. Yeah! Come on. <laughs> Taiwo, whoa! <laughs> Boy, whoa! Dummy, whoa! <laughs> Steven, I do! I mean, yeah! Asuko, yikaku! Makantani, yikaku! Eunice, whoa! You boy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yo! <laughs> <Here. laughs> Christopher! Who said you go fight? <laughs> Excellent. All right, now everybody give a movement into the circle and we will imitate, follow the leader, okay? I will do the first movement. All of us. All right, let's move. Good. Now, having been sworn in, limbered up, made friends and played a few games. Maybe it's finally time for the Academy. Ah, the bus again. But this time, a much shorter trip to their ultimate destination. And there it is, ingeniously located near the sea. An ideal place to achieve a synergy and balance of mind, body, and spirit. To tap into new knowledge and a new way of thinking. It is here that our 20 Academy students will learn to be actors and actresses. So we now start with our very first acting lesson. Every good theater teacher will tell you, and you've heard this, I'm sure, before, all good drama is born of conflict. Now, what kind of conflict? There's internal conflict within a character. There's conflict between characters. There's conflict, perhaps, with the situation or the circumstances. And sometimes, there's conflict even with one society. Tosan Ejremoda Ugbe can speak with authority. After graduating from the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in England, she performed professionally. But when she returned to Nigeria, she decided to teach. Here at the Academy, she is known simply as the Dean. How do you become somebody else? How do we create character? For a character to exist, a playwright would ordinarily, or a screenwriter, a scriptwriter, would ordinarily ask these things, or create these things. He would say, who is this person? Where is this person? And what specifically is happening to this person? What situation is this person in? Who, what, where? Okay, and that information would already be provided for us in the script. But for the purposes of these exercises today, we are going to create the who, what, and where. Okay, through skills of improvisation. Play with whatever you've got in your head. Surprise each other, just don't hit each other. Hello. Hi. Hi. What's up? Uh, I'm fine. How are you doing? As you can see, I'm doing fine, real good. Mm. And now your lecture's going? Well, fine. And you? 
<sighs> I'm, I'm coping. I'm, I'm broke. My parents haven't sent the money for a long time now, and um, things are just generally, you know, kind of, you know, getting to my head. Do you know what? I saw you with a girl yesterday. I was in my friend's room. No, yesterday morning. Excuse me. Excuse me. 7 a.m. lecture in the morning. Hold it. I have something for you. Sit down. No, I think you should sit, sit down. down. Sit down. Sit down. Maybe I should get you a uh, Give in, a give in, give in to the other actor. Give in to her. Sit down. Just sit down. Sit down. <laughs> All right, let's see what she's got for you. Do you know what? I'll be getting married to the Duke of Orsino. I don't really care if you're getting married to me in a week's time. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse, I demand excuse you sit me. down. Hang on, just hold on a second. Play it for real now. Real, 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 real. Tell him again. Anyways, I'm getting married. You must be out of your mind. You're getting married to who? Is someone... No, no, sorry. Excuse Dele. me. Dele, 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 Dele who? The, the little section entitled Deciphering a, a Dramatic Text really has to do with how to suss out, um, if you're thrown a script, what to do with it. Tell him who he is, tell her who she is. She will say where they are, he will say what situation they're in. That first of all, you must place yourself as the performer and as the character within the piece. In other words, how do you find out who you are in a certain dramatic text? He said something that is conflicting to what okay, he just said. Make a choice. All right. I have something I want to let you know. Um, we would ask ourselves certain questions, you know. Um, what sort of situation is the character in? Who else is on stage, you know? Who is the person talking to? What age am I? Things like that that would familiarize you with the script. Those things are how you understand the script and what the writer intended. Because actually the performer is there to, to serve the writer's intent. Tell me, they gave up a beautiful opportunity there. Tell me what it was. You are telling me you want to get married? My son, keep your mouth shut, I'm talking to you. There was a moment in which the conflict could have gone in a much more interesting direction. You all this started when I, when I agreed to like, accept you, my life. No, it's okay. I'm trying to decide. I've worked for everything in the past. Simply, 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 simplicity. That scene, what happened to the scene? It's like a flat line on, on, on one of those heart monitors. Because nobody is taking it to another level. You must. Because for drama to be of any interest, it must have a clear beginning, middle, and end. So you must continue to hold our interest by increasing the conflict. You know, let it come. Let it come. Don't think. The more you think, the more you destroy your own creativity. I'm not saying that thought is not a part of the process. But at this stage, just let yourself go. The worst that could happen is that you'll make a little bit of a fool of yourself and then you're going to learn something. With this first lesson, it is already clear that mastering the basics of professional acting will be fascinating as well as demanding. For the next month, these 20 students will work hard to succeed. Each remembers well that at the end of it all, the best four actors in the Academy will win starring roles in the drama series that will follow. But not without a lot of challenges and hard work because what comes next is something called the cold read. You're meant to pick one. There are four scripts to choose from. Each student will read one off the top of their head just to see how they will do. At least that is what the Dean tells them. Genevieve Inaji. She stands out as one of the best known Nigerian actresses. Genevieve Inaji, talented Nollywood actress, face of locks and of recent boarding songstress. That particular exercise was basically about clarity and about confidence and about their presence, which is an intangible. Seeing her pose on the catwalk in that outfit, you never have sensed that 
the lady with the regal bearing was initially a bundle of nerves. So that particular exercise really was not about deciphering a script. It was about um, standing still. Were they going to stand still? Were they going to give us eye contact? Were they going to present something of themselves? And what would they choose? Would they choose something descriptive that had more sort of flowery language that they could play with? Or were they going to um, pick a news item? The police in Lagos are faced with the tax of unraveling the whereabouts of a middle-aged man who was allegedly abducted on Sunday at a popular eatery on, Lag on Lagos Road, Ikorodu. As an irresident of number 11, Oni Ogunsayan Street, was alleged to have received a telephone call earlier from some unknown persons who invited him Each student has student. their chance. A rare cancer of the blood. He suffered greatly. But is the call read some kind of test? Clearly, some of the students aren't sure what the exercise is about and are quite worried. But there is something even more worrisome. First, it is a rumor. Then, it becomes real. Kamal has fallen ill and has been rushed to the hospital. A kind of tension hangs in the air. By the time the day is over, no one knows if Kamal is okay or if he will be able to return. Once again, the students arrive, wondering what the day's challenges will be. They are worried about Kamal's condition, but they are also worried about the reaction to yesterday's cold read. Almost everybody yesterday made some errors, even with simple words. You are free to ask the producer if there is a word that you do not know. We're all Nigerians. There's nobody here who knows every single word in the English language. You would be lying if you said that. Most of you had factual copy. You know, you had things that were news items or you had things that were descriptive in nature. And I did that deliberately because that is really the hardest type of copy to deal with. Because you don't have a character to hide behind. So you can't put on a funny accent and try to make me laugh or anything. It just brings out all the flaws. <laughs> well, in things to do with theater and performance, it is our choice that makes it what it is. But very few of you made choices yesterday. And as an artist, you must always make a choice. It could be a quote-unquote wrong choice but I would prefer to see an artist make a bad or wrong choice because then I would know that that artist could be corrected than to make no choice whatsoever then I would think ah, maybe he doesn't even know how to choose or she doesn't even know how to choose so when you pick up a copy you must say to yourself what am I going to do how am I going to read this you must choose you must be bold all of you scored high in confidence. All of you, every single one of you did. So use that confidence to make you very bold. Stand up straight, smile. Look at them. I know a lot of Nigerians are not too crazy about looking you directly in the eye, but do it anyway. Just don't do it disrespectfully. <laughs> I think you people should run around a little bit. Maybe you should get a ball and just throw it around for about 10 minutes. Your, your energy is down all the way, then you can come back. During their breaks, students get a chance to record their own thoughts on their own time. It's been two days in the academy. What is the experience like? It's been fun. We get to meet people and then learning some things. Yes, that was scared but you know I'm learning to be under pressure and I'm learning to make this. The instructors have been trying to put us through a whole lot of um, foundational um, stuff and acting, a whole 
lot of us don't know anything about IT. The students are recharged and ready to dive back into an improvisational exercise. The actors are given a random line and must create their own who, what, and where. And give us an action that will speak about the situation. Where are you going? Down the road. Down the road? Yes. To do what? Nothing. I'm just uh, going down the road. Sin. Even in and this then, tiny a welcome spring. surprise. Kamal had a minor stomach ailment. He is okay. Now, the students can continue their exercises as a full team. All right, let's go back to work. All right. As things settle down, the class continues. Did you see him? Him. Did you see him? Not today. Why? Because. Oh. Oh. Curtain. Now you know sense, 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 sense. Same script, different meanings, yeah. right? Yeah. And that's what we do. We interpret, right? Yes. But if we don't have something we're after that we want, we can't get into the heart of the scene, right? Nice, now you get it, now you get it, and I'm happy now. As the class on motivation ends, something else is happening. It is the Cole Reed scores. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah! I messed up, man. It is a competition, and guess who comes out best? In most ways, each of the Academy students survived the dreaded cold read, and most did fairly well. However, they don't realize that the cold read was probably one of the easiest exercises they will encounter. Golden Morn, delicious and tasty wholesome instant cereal everyone can enjoy any time of the day. Nestle Golden Morn, highly nutritious, simply delicious. With Maggie Cube, taste is everything. Maggie and me, the secret of goodness. Next time on The Academy, the students dive deeper into what it means to be an actor and what it means to interpret the words of a great writer. So far, you have been on easy road. It's time to get serious. Alan Shai visits the academy and puts the students through their paces. I think we all have to try and be disciplined. I think it has to start from here first before we can take it out to anybody. That's all coming up next time on The Academy. Brought to you by Nescafe.